I'm in Southeast Asia on the equatorial island of Borneo. Out of respect for their culture, I'm not starting naked. They're taking me deep into an area where the special forces train, where I'll be left completely alone for 10 days. It's in the high 30s and I'm sweating three liters an hour. Without water, I'll quickly dehydrate. With no one else to rely on, I need to take stock and prioritize. <laughs> Next to or on, something spiky or sharp. And I'm not a barefoot hippie at home. I wear shoes. <laughs> Got mosquitoes sucking my legs. Could be a sign. But I'm getting closer to water. The mosquitoes are starting to come out. Mosquitoes only breed near water. I must be close. Okay, this, can you hear that? There's flowing water. Trickle, 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 trickle. Nice one. We've got flowing water. Okay, we've got water. Let's look for the best place around here. Okay. This is interesting here. I have found guy on earth. I know that I can use these leaves in order to... With no tools, I have to make the jungle work for me instead of fighting against it. What I'm doing here to um, make almost like a, a geodesic tent. Um, essentially, I'm just bending these saplings over, tying them. My cordage, my string is literally just these roots and vines. I don't need walls, just protection from the rain, which can top four metres a year. The shelter's good enough for tonight. Daylight's fading fast, and I need water now. Ideally, I'd boil it, but the water's flowing. It's a gamble I have to take. That tastes clean. <laughs> Have a look, there's a glowfly covered in mosquitoes, and as soon as I can, I need to um, I need to get a fire going, don't I? The mosquitoes are just sucking me dry. I'm prioritizing fire. With one, I can cook and keep mosquitoes at bay. Beyond that, I discover an old special forces camp where I scavenge wire, plastic bottles, string, and other materials. It's metal, whether it's lead, I'm not sure. It's a great haul. I can use it to build a bow drill and make fire by friction. If it works, it will mean the difference between surviving and thriving. Let's just have a crack. I've done this hundreds of times before, but never in an environment as wet as this. It's draining every last ounce of my energy. But even though there's smoke, I can't get fire. Gotta have to get some sort of meat inside me. I'm making a crude fish trap using a bottle I found at the Special Forces camp. Top into the bottom, inverted. It's a technique I've used before. With Anta's bait, I've got a good chance of catching something. Let's see if this attracts any fish. I need protein, but the trap will take time to work. I'll come back and check it before dark. This palm here is covered in spikes, but in theory it should have a palm heart. Palm hearts are harvested all over the world. They're not always easy to get to, but they are a reliable source of carbohydrate. And that's just taken me probably less than a minute. Oh my God, that's edible. Stafford, why haven't you been eating these? Here, we've got a little beetle. A bit like a little uh, tiny stag beetle, I suppose. See, on its legs, you can just see second to last leg is a fly. Wow, 
Now it's absolutely crunchy, actually. Beetles are now on the menu. Oh no, I've started thinking about food now. <sighs> As I imagined celery, I imagined the fridge drawer, and then I imagined the kitchen, and peanut butter and toast. Oh my god. Don't torture yourself, Stafford. Cake. I've already caught one crayfish in this one. This is an old trap that somebody else put in. No way. <laughs> this is the same trap, but you can see how old it is. Now, some of the fish in here are going to be very old, but there's some alive ones. And when I have a fire, I will cook them. But they're alive, therefore they're not diseased. I need fire in order to, to stop the mozzies at night, in order to heat me at night, in order to cook, in order to boil the water in the streams. I need it for everything. I slept well under my palm leaf bedding, and while I still feel fresh, I'm determined to get a fire started. Come on. Ah. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, look at that little flicker of orange. That'll be the fire then. <laughs> that was an effort. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> we got fire. Oh, do you know what we're going to have tonight? We're going to have barbecue prawns. <laughs> Chucking out the shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> yes! Happy days. I'm using a can I scavenged from the army camp as a makeshift cooking pot. Top. First sip of hot fluid in four days. Ginger tea, here we go. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> that's really good. I can finally cook and smoke will keep the mosquitoes at bay. I've not been bitten tonight. There's no mozzies. They're toasted. Mmm. Barbecue crab. That is actually very yummy. Things are looking up, aren't they? Things are looking up. With fire and food sorted, I want to see what other resources I can find that would help me live here long term. Uncharted territory now. With a pool at the bottom, which is just too good an opportunity to miss. Who hasn't got 10 minutes in the day for a swim? I'm going to relax for 10 minutes. In my books, beats Niagara with all the tourists. Nobody here except me. I'm happy with my progress. I'm living in relative comfort, but I am very hungry. Right, this may sound gross, but it's... Um, in the Amazon, there's lots of long drop toilets. Long drop meaning you just sit and the poo falls a long way into a pit. As soon as you poo into the river, fish swarm and eat your feces. It's incredibly efficient at getting rid of waste. It's incredibly healthy. It may sound a bit rank, but what it does prove to me is that fish eat poo. And I have run out of bait for my fish traps. This is my first poo in eight days. Oh, 
half the money used to be. Poo trap. Needless to say, from now on, I will be collecting water and bathing further upstream. Oh, oh, oh we've got a fish. We've got one little fish. And we've got more fish. Yes. I'll be sure to cook them well. So, in my can, today is a riverine soup. And then I boil that up. Oh, soup broth, that's lovely. Oh, I forgot that fishy taste. I love it, I love it, I love it. Right. These big lumps of fish, absolutely gorgeous. Most definitely the best supper so far. I hate being hungry. I hate, hate, hate being hungry. When you don't have it, you recognise how much you take it for granted. Tomorrow is my last day alone in the jungle. I set myself a target of 10 days to see, if I had to, that I could live here long term. It hasn't been easy, but I've got shelter, food, fire and water. 12 shrimps. The essentials for a comfortable life. Birds around here. A tone deaf. And listen to this song. Start getting your stuff together, stuff. Before going, I'll dismantle my shelter and traps and leave my little patch of jungle just how I found it. I'm proud. I'm proud of my 10 days in the Borneo rainforest without anything but my bare hands. Jungle warfare instructors only do four days in the jungle without nothing. You've just done 10. Little pat on the back, Eddie. All right, let's go. They can hear something. Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm coming down! <laughs> right, camera off. Hey, Prado! Hey, hey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Cheers, All right. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Good. <laughs> yeah. uh, Miss you, mate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Miss you for the last 10 days, eh? Oh. Oh, wow. Straight from the spa. <laughs> That's what I was missing.